The Deputy Minister of Energy, Dr. Mohamed Amin Anta, has termed as misinformation claims made by the opposition NDC on Wednesday, February 12, 2020, dubbed the state of the energy of Ghana. He has argued that the energy sector and that the new patriotic party has witnessed growth in all sector. Let's cross over now to the Ministry of Information, where the Deputy Minister of Energy is speaking. It's not the first time. The Acker block, GMPC said they didn't have money, so they didn't exercise their paid interest. And this is not the first time GMPC declined to buy an interest which was made available on sale by another company. When Talo uh, uh, Oil Jubilee Partners, uh, uh, I think AG, uh, uh, the EO Group, offered to sell the Aztec, GMPC had the chance to buy that interest. They said they didn't have money. When Saber Oil decided to sell its stake, GMPC, they said they didn't have money, and so they didn't buy it. And so Petro South Africa, Petro SA bought it. So this is not the first time GMPC has explained that they don't have money, and so they cannot buy uh, additional interest or exercise their uh, paid interest. And therefore, GMPC decided to divest part of its paid interest. This also means that GMPC is very professional and very strategic that they do not take on more debts that will further expose them. Curiously, the NDC was economical with the truth by concealing from Ghanaians the fact that the MPP government, as part of the renegotiation, also successfully renegotiated Ghana's free interest from 10% to 15%. Our free interest of 10%, we successfully negotiated that to 15%. And not only this, we successfully negotiated local participation, Ghanaian participation, from 2.5% to 5%. So if you go to the people of Ghana and say, oh, the government reduced uh, SPLOCO interest to zero, it reduced GMPC's paid interest. And it's not free interest, paid interest. They are supposed to pay for it. The government reduced it from 10% to 3% without telling Ghanaians that for the free interest, which was 10%, the same government negotiated it to 15%. For local Ghanaian participation, which was 2.5%, the same government negotiated that to 5% then you are economical with the truth. You are not being objective to the people of Ghana. This is intellectual dishonesty of the highest form. Negotiation is give and take. And so in our view, we had a net gain. And on top of that, oil was discovered from this field over which we renegotiated the agreement. Compared to the many, many agreements they signed that have taken us nowhere. And so I ask the people of Ghana if I negotiate a contract which takes me nowhere, it doesn't lead to discovery, it doesn't lead to production of oil, I have enhanced fiscal terms. And I give incentives to a company which leads to a discovery and crude oil production, which of this should we offer, should we take? Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the NDC said in their investigations, it's been revealed that a new company by name Court Energy, which was subsequently awarded a 5% free credit interest was registered a month before the Akufo-Addo-led government triggered the parliamentary processes to amend.